Hey guys, what is going on? This is Jaqueline Brenham, aka Jay Z, the Quiet Storm, aka the Crypto Goddess. And I am back again to show you exactly how to move your XRP from Uphold to Nexo. So I got stuck doing this, and a lot of people had questions about this. So I just wanted to make a quick video to show you exactly what to do. So as you can see here, I have have some XRP on my upload account. I'm already logged in, already authenticated, already verified. You might ask why I don't want to leave anything on uphold. I'd rather have my coins or tokens earning interest on Nexo or Ether on my ledger. So in this case, I'm going to allow my coins to earn interest on Nexo. So the first thing I want to do is come over here to the pane on the right. Under transact, I'm going to choose from. So my from account is my XRP account five. I'm going to select that. I'm going to select the max amount. Why? Because I've already done a test run. You can send a small amount over to the exchange of your choice just to test it out, just to make sure you did it correctly. You don't want to lose any of your cryptocurrency out on the blockchain to never, ever, ever be found again. So the next thing I'm going to do is in the two box, I am going to scroll all the way down until I get to crypto networks. So this is important. When you're transferring coins, you want to transfer from the same type of crypto network to the same type of crypto network. So since I am transferring XRP, I want to transfer to another XRP network. After I do that, I'm going to select preview withdrawal. Here, they give me an example of an XRP address, an example of a destination tag. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to hop over to Nexo. I've already logged in, and I'm going to scroll down until I find XRP. Once I find XRP, I'm going to scroll to the right, and I'm going to click on top up right here. Once I click that, it'll give me the wallet address and the destination tag to enter over here on Uphold. When I do that, I do a verification. I always look at all of the numbers and letters in the wallet address, and I always verify <clears throat> that I enter the token address from inside the destination tag correctly. So if you have a spot for a destination tag, please do not leave it blank. It's very important. It's an identifier of your wallet and you need to insert the destination tag. If you do not, your crypto will be lost out there on the blockchain. Sometimes there are a few, few cases where you're able to contact the exchange and be able to retrieve it, but it takes months and months and months of verification and proving that you sent this crypto over to another exchange. So if I were you, I'd be very careful when I'm entering my wallet address and entering my destination tag. Once you've done both of those, you can click confirm and your transaction is complete. Thank you guys for watching.